Hey guys, welcome to my electric forest vlogs. It feels so good to say that. I was thinking about this morning, little did I know that three years ago, when I was sitting in a cubicle at my old job in Manhattan, waiting in line with everybody else in 2019, that I would get my ticket then, and then three years later, we would finally be going to the forest, but I can't even describe the feeling. I'm so excited to be there. This has been a long time coming. I'm a first timer. We have such an amazing group, you guys. You're gonna see it all in my daily vlogs. We've got like 40 something people in our group camp with the Lunchbox fam. I have friends from home coming, festival friends, like, so many people I've met along the way, so it's gonna be absolutely incredible. Um, today is Tuesday the 21st, so I had to switch up with my flights. I ended up having to book an earlier flight, so I'm leaving at 1.50, I'm getting to Grand Rapids at 4.50. We are picking up a rental car, sleeping the night in just a hotel in the city, and then tomorrow morning on Wednesday, we're gonna do a Walmart run, pick up the rest of our camping supplies, and then drive and do early arrival. So I've got a couple mix up with tickets. I have to go to box office and do all that stuff, so I'm gonna document like the whole process in these early vlogs of getting there and checking in and setting up camp and then I'll have daily vlogs for the festival as well. So I hope you guys are excited. Hit the subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel. I have so many different festival vlogs, videos, rave videos, everything like that. Um, so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's get excited for Electric Forest. All right guys, look who's here. <laughs> Three years later, we're back getting to all here. What was our last trip together? EDC uh, Vegas. EDC Vegas 2019. EDC Vegas 2019. All right, quick room tour. We're at the, what is it, Town Place Marriott and Suites. And then we got the bathroom here. And that's pretty much it. So we're, it's like 5.45 right now. So we're just gonna go eat and hang out. Aiden and all of her friends are staying here as well, but they are not gonna get in until like 7.30, 8 o'clock. So I think we might just do like food, Costco run, stock up on a couple things and then we're doing the Walmart run in the morning too. So there's not much to do here. It's hot as shit. No more rain for Sunday. Yeah, no more rain. For we honestly like knock on wood. Yeah, knock on wood. <laughs> we have like literally perfect weather. Where's the wood? <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's go eat. All right guys, we're on our liquor store run now. <laughs> we did our Costco run. We're gonna go see if they have beatbox in here. Guys, we've located the goods. <laughs> but we have blue Raz peach and a single pink lemonade left. Guys, look where we are. We're starting to get all of our stuff. <laughs> Toilet paper is next. All right guys, we're doing our Walmart run. <laughs> we have the pickup order, but then we're also just like getting all of our stuff. So we're getting snacks, extra bedding, stuff like that. I think it's like 9 a.m. right now. Um, and then we're gonna go sit down and eat because we had a change of plans this morning. Um, and then we're gonna go check in. All right fam, here we are. <laughs> We've got everything in. Literally just fit, like just fit. And then this is the side of the car. Like there's Eric in there somewhere. <laughs> but I think we got everything that we needed. We're at Walmart. So yeah, what time is it? It's like probably 9.45 right now. So <clears throat> we didn't have everything in our order. We had to go back in and get like some substitutes for certain things, but we're just gonna go grab food. We're not getting Bibi anymore. She's just gonna go in the RV, so like hopefully they don't have any issues with check-in. Um, but we're gonna go sit down and eat because we've got some time. Then we'll drive over there. We'll just get in line early for will call, do the whole thing. You guys will see the whole process in this check-in. I think that's it. All right, guys, our last fueling up before Forest here. How are we feeling? Yeah. <laughs> so this is the check-in. And then we'll call and then box office. Hello! <laughs> Hello, we made it. <laughs> All right guys, so basically what happened is we went up to the exit 140. Um, this is like RV and VIP check-in, but they were able to get my band and BB's band, so we're good. So we're just gonna go through here and see if we can drive through the festival to group camping. So we'll see how this goes. Guys, look at this cute little farm on the side of the road. That, that was so fucking intense, you guys. Okay, we're the first ones here, so I'll show you everything, but it was so confusing, but luckily we figured it out. We followed the signs. People have been very helpful, um, but it's just a huge empty lot. So we're parked here, Then this is like our entire lot, um, and then cars will be parked on the other side. But as you can see, like it's kind of starting to fill in, but still like so much emptiness, so. And then Main Street, I don't know if you can see, Main Street's like right over here, which is really nice, so. First ones. Thank you. 
I also am having <laughs> issues today. My wristband wouldn't work. Uh, I don't know why, I just wouldn't scan and you have to get like a, oh, hi. hi. <laughs> all right, we are in. Here's all the food options. Got this. Guys, they call us Pancake Palace. Look at this, it's a little diner. Freaking kidding me. Here's the greenery. Okay, look what we found. Target acquired. I just kidding. We got a ride from people in an RV. Everyone here is so fucking nice. Hi guys, this is Editing Emma here. I realized I didn't explain the situation like at all in the intro, so let me quickly stop here to explain what had happened with this. So basically, I was attending Electric Forest as a part of their unmediated program, which was amazing. So I was there as a content creator working with the festival, so I did get a GA pass in exchange for working with them. So I had bought a GA pass back in 2019, and I was essentially giving that pass to my friend Bibi. Um, and because I didn't update my shipping address from my old apartment, BB's pass shipped to my old apartment and then was returned. So essentially, I had to go to the will call to pick up my media pass, but then also to get her GA pass. Um, so I get to the festival, I grab my pass, um, and then I just like didn't think about it, but my old pass um, was in my name and I should have just told them to put it in BB's name. Wasn't thinking took both passes all the way back to group camp with me. Then Bibi got to the North Toll in her RV and they would not let her into the festival. So she had to get off the RV and sit at the box office until I could get there. Didn't realize that it was not in walking distance. So I started walking and then luckily like a fireman stopped me and let me hop in his car. So he gave me a ride to the North Toll. I then acquired BB, gave her her GA pass, and then luckily an RV picked us up and drove us all the way back into camp. So that's what was happening here. It was like a whole fucking thing. It took like a little over an hour to like find her, get her her pass, go to the North Toll, come back. So lessons learned. We're gonna update our shipping address in the future and we're gonna like do this a better way, but everything was fine. So that's what's happening in this situation. <laughs> and look who it is. <laughs> We made it. We're getting an RV tour. Wow, is this your RV? Are you kidding me? Welcome to my crib. Oh my God. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. 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 Here we have the breeding station. <laughs> we got, just so everybody knows from the beginning of the vlog, we got Lexi, we got Cammy, we got Brandon, we got John, we got Hi, Amy, I'm Baby. We got Garrett. <laughs> This is their kitchen. Hi. This is the drinking Hi. station. <laughs> drinking <laughs> station. Love that for you too. Aww. Aww. <laughs> okay. Couples who black Throwing out up. together stay together. <laughs> yeah. Sleeping yeah. station. Jen's nice here. This is nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. Windy. Tent is here. It's very windy. Almost blew away. But we're good. So we're parking like all along here. This is all group camping. Um, so like this is our whole lot, so they're part of the lunchbox fam. We're like the top of the lot here. So a car is supposed to like park along this way and then all the tents are in between. So this is our like six person tent. We gotta fill it. We have a canopy to put up over now. This is everything. Look who's here. <laughs> Hi. They're camping out here. Whew. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Yeah. to Main Street, Island Noodles, baby. Feels good to be here. Guys, are ready? Island Noodles. Ah. All right, guys, this is the general store. Look at all this. They have all this fun stuff. But we're like fully stocked. They have everything you need in here. Candy. like toiletries, like everything you could possibly need. Snacks, food, cutlery, like camping. These are all camping supplies. All right guys, here's where we're at with the beatbox flag. Everyone's starting to get here. So we've got like a little hangout zone. 
So I think it's like 7.30 right now. We've just been like hanging back here, playing games, drinking a little bit, just hanging out. Um, I think we're gonna go get food again, just relax. And then RV parties start at like nine-ish, but I think we're just gonna like hang out today and just enjoy, then go do the RV parties. Um, but yeah, this has pretty much been it. it. Just, this is like such a good setup. Got good shade, it's starting to fill in, it's feeling really good. So yeah, so far so good.